Obviously, in the future, I see, and probably you see too, we do see more AI coming into things. We see the, you know, the, the possibility to, to look at things in a more contextual way with the user and you know, diff, what different activities driving different things, bring those things together, correlate those things together, and then, and then almost sort of put a little bit of intelligence around that and saying, well, that's a good thing or it's a bad thing that's happening. We want right. to do, you want to do something automatically in the way of actions and activities to either you know, mitigate what's going on or to, or to, uh, or, or to somehow, you know, intervene in some other way. So right. I, I think that's what's probably, you know, that's, that's the promise. I mean, I, I really see it helping. You know, we know we've got lots of clients out there who've got little expertise really in IT right. security full stop. Um, and whether they're you know quite a large organization, in fact, uh, that's the case. They can't afford to have you know security analysis sure. and staff, etc. So trying to find some way of using machine learning and AI in that context to to sort of almost like supplement that missing expertise is is I think very much the way that the business is going to go. But I don't think we're we're there yet, unfortunately. I'd yeah, like no, I think it just makes me feel like uh, it, it, it's cool to be part of this industry because it, it's ultimately fueling something that's going to benefit you know People. several different types of industries, right? Like yeah. you know, this kind of technology can be applied to a lot of different things, and um, you know, it's cool to see what we're doing with security, but you know, it's also cool to see how things are evolving in general. The layered approach is uh, super important. Um, there are many different ways that attacks can come in. Uh, and it's important to, to be aware of those and to monitor the changes, right? I mean, yeah. we've seen a lot of innovation over the last uh, five years with you know how ransomware works to well, fileless based malware. Um, you know, process injection. We can go obviously, and go I mean, well, you can thank like the NSA for yeah, yeah. Uh, several exploits that have yeah, been leaked can. into the wild, and you know the, the the flood of infections that have really piggybacked off some of these you know holes in the backbones of how uh, data and the internet are connected. Mm -hmm.